My name is Sasha Bratt. I'm the director of the play The Revisionist, which is opening April 11th at Playhouse on Park in West Hartford. The Revisionist is a, is a new play. It's about a writer, a young writer, David, who's had some early success in his life, about 25, and he's having trouble finishing his second book, kind of in a sophomore slump, and he has this uh, idyllic notion that if he goes to a foreign country, he'll have the inspiration to write the great American novel. Um, and he ends up in Poland because he has family there. His second cousin, who he's never met, um, Maria, who's about 70, 75 years old. And it sets up a nice dichotomy between age and culture and some generational uh, experience. The Revisionist has a, a strong Jewish through line in its history. Maria's family uh, was, were uh, Jews in Poland during the Holocaust and her family, uh, she was taken from her family as they were led to the concentration camps. She had to live a, a secret life with the family that took care of her. She lived in a house for four years, was never allowed to leave the house, lived in the basement, had to stay quiet at all times, um, and lived a Catholic with a Catholic family, so eventually she took on a Catholic persona. Her family in the States remained Jewish, and who she discovered later in life. So she is unable to speak Jewish prayers because she never learned them. Um, as she was never in, in that environment. And still, she has a deep connection to family. This play is very much about connections um, with family, with our history, with ourselves, and sometimes the connections we take for granted, and sometimes the connections that we continue to long for. Jesse Eisenberg talked about uh, a couple ideas, small ideas he had for plays and, and in his own, so it's not autobiographical, but in his own work, he had gone to visit family uh, who I think he may have taken for granted that they were family and started having this uh, experience of um, we don't always listen to our elders and we think that in our fast-paced iPhone culture that we, we know the answer, we know it's right, and without realizing we look down on where we've come from and then if we can slow down, we might be going so fast that ignore the problems that we have in our life so we don't have to stop at those speed bumps. But when we do slow down and deal with it, more, we can become more better, fuller people. I think what makes a great play, especially a newer work which people might not know, someone might say, why do I go see The Revisionist? The micro story of the play is Maria's journey and David's journey and their Jewish faith is a part of that, both his that he doesn't have but in, in more of the cultural way, he, he, he's grown up Jewish and he sees himself uh, culturally, culturally Jewish. Um, and she is connected to her family but has never been able to experience that. And her history, um, we find that there is really is a difference between just hearing someone's family has been through the Holocaust versus hearing a detailed story of what happened to their family. And we know many terrible things that happened, but we don't always listen to the details. So sometimes the past can be glossed over because we know it's terrible, but we don't, we, we don't know, and, and that we need to listen. The play is not just about uh, a Jewish family or a Jewish um, past experiences uh, and history, that this is also about family, and, and many families different as those traditions get lost throughout the years, how do we stay connected to our own family and into the world we're living in? I think it's a really smart, well-written play. There's only three characters. Her cousin who comes to visit her is a character named Zenon, and he is younger than Maria, and he speaks exclusively in Polish, and he comes into her life to help her out because she lives completely alone. And a, a loneliness is another theme in this play of someone who is surrounded by pictures of her family, someone who in her childhood lost, and as she says, I didn't lose my family, they were killed. Um, she lost everyone who was close to her, so she surrounds herself with pictures of her family, but they're just pictures. And David is surrounded by his family in New York, but spends no time with them except for at weddings and funerals. This play, I think, helps to find that balance of how do we be present people in the lives of the people who we're with, um, without saying that technology is wrong or that, or that we're going down a bad road, but that there, there is a balance between the past and the future, and that's the present, and that we need to live in that present moment with the people.